Hey everybody. Uh, so into it today, he made a whole sheet typed out of notes that we wanted. We we're gonna hit. Should we start with this YouTube comment, or what do you think? Yeah, we can start with that. Um, I had a friend reach out, and they had asked, um, "Where do you suggest I purchase Cardano and invest in it?" Um, they they mentioned Weevil, which I don't know much about, or if that's how you pronounce it, or Robinhood. But Steven suggest otherwise. Yeah, I mean you can get it on Weebull. Um, Is that what it's called? Yeah, like Weebull. Right. Um, <laughs> it's similar to Robinhood. Uh, you can get stocks. You can get some crypto on there. Um, hey, that if you can get Cardano on there, which you can, that's awesome because you're getting Cardano. Um, the only thing on that is similar to Robinhood is you can't send and receive it. You can buy it. You can sell it just like a stock. So for the average um, crypto investor, that works. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but let's say I was at work and Felicia's like, hey, can you buy me 100 Cardano real quick and then send it to me later? I could buy go on crypto.com app i could buy it and then later on i could send her cardano where you can't do that on robin hood you can't do that on weeble it's for buying and selling strictly just like a stock but hey you're still holding cardano um but if you get deeper into crypto you're gonna want to move that cardano to an external hardware wallet which is offline secure crypto.com you can actually send it so i could send it from crypto.com to my hardware wallet and again it's an offline secure physical device that i have offline that nothing can get hacked it's just more secure and we'll have a whole video on hardware wallets and security and why it's important especially because as crypto gets more common hackers are gonna find ways to steal your crypto mm -hmm. so um i never like to buy on weeble or robin hood but for an average investor with small amounts go for it you're getting your hands on cardano it's hard to try and it. um it's it's good um yeah so that was just a question on youtube that we wanted to hit and then we're gonna kind of start from the top steven added a few uh little tabs here yeah a few notes so um obviously today it's it's down a little bit again um, I can give you an update on our portfolio for the thousand dollars we put in Coinbase. So yeah. right now we're at eight thirty-eight. So we are down about sixteen, seventeen percent, um, which I'm okay with. Um, you know, we the are going to see game. dips. This is nothing to be scared of. Um, if you want high returns, you need to be able to stomach these dip, these short dip days. So um, if you've never experienced this before, welcome to the world of crypto and your first dip because <laughs> this is what it's about. Um, yeah. On these days, I like to do what's called um, dollar, ca dollar cost averaging. What that is, is yesterday I put $1,000 in for what we're trying to show you guys with the portfolio. Today I might put $1,000 in, not in that one category, but off the books on something else. Uh, let's say I was going to buy 1000 Cardano today. And then tomorrow, the price might go down a little bit more. So I might buy an another $1,000 in Cardano. Because averaging those three days together, I'm going to have a median price that's going to be a good price point to buy. Because I don't know if it's going to go up tomorrow or go down tomorrow. So if I buy three days in a row or once a week for a month, you're going to get the average price. So you're going to help yourself when you might have bought at a high price two days ago versus today. Right. So it's always important to do that not only when you're buying, but also when you're selling and cashing out. If you cash it all out at once... What happens if tomorrow it goes up five or ten grand? You're going to regret selling it. You could have made more money yeah. by splitting your cash out in two, two, three days. Exactly. So same with buying. Don't If you have, let's say, $1,000 to buy in, don't put that whole thousand in. Maybe you might do two fifty today, two fifty tomorrow, two fifty the third day, and two fifty the fourth day. That way you get a, a cost average, and you might get a better price in it or a better price selling out. Right. Things could change every day that that matter so it's always important to look at certain price points like um the 50-day moving average right now is about forty-eight thousand, and i believe what we're sitting at right now is around forty-nine thousand. um i'm confident that if we don't break below forty-two thousand, i think we're going to be okay and we're going to see a big upturn um forty-two thousand is a huge support level and what that means is it's, it might try to dip down that low, maybe tonight, tomorrow, but as long as it hits 42 and it doesn't break through and it holds strong and keeps going up past that, I'm confident we're not going to have any issues on the upside after this dip. 
this is not a massive dip. We're talking maybe 25, 30% at most. Um, to me, all that screams is if you have cash, Invest get it while it's it cheap. Yeah. Um, I'm not concerned if it will hit 100,000. I'm concerned of when. Okay, so this is long term. Again, you know, it's this is a shakeout. This is a shakeout, everybody, this week. Mm -hmm. um, if you're new, this is the time when you're going to be cringing. You're going to be checking your, your portfolio balance every couple of hours. <laughs> uh, you might be freaking out. This is what crypto is about. Yeah. Um, so this is exciting for me. I, I, I don't mind these days. Um, all it does is just shakes out a bunch of that money. The weak hands and then that people want are investing. to sell. Which we keep reminding you, the only way to lose money is to sell at a low point. Exactly. And, and the biggest thing with this is when big institutions are missing the boat on a cheap price, let's, let's say Elon Musk, when he bought in at 42000 when he did that, the price skyrocketed. And people were like, man, I wish I could have got in just like Elon did at $42,000. we are talking big investors. Like, let's say Apple wanted to get in as well when they saw that. The price moved so fast, they didn't have time to do that. So yeah. what do they do? They're going to force and bring it back. They're going to people massive selling to bring that price back so they can get in again. Right. And that is, there is manipulation in that. People are going to massive sell, Work together. drive that price down, and then buy it back at that cheap price. Okay. Yeah. So that does happen. So what do you have to do? You have to hold strong if you have a lot of money into it. Yep. Or if you're not in yet, maybe you dip in right now on the low end. Um, Should we hit the taxes part? Yeah, so I had a friend Leah uh, reached out to me and she said she was interested in like the tax and like how that all works out. So Steven's kind of crazy about that to make sure everything gets done properly with the way we bought the vehicle and stuff. Yeah, so, so taxes are important on any crypto. So <laughs> technically, you have to pay taxes on capital gains in crypto, mm -hmm. and you have to pay it on three different scenarios. If you use crypto, as in, let's say you were to buy something with cryptocurrency somewhere, mm -hmm. um, you would have to pay capital gains on if you actually sold your crypto for cash. And you would also have to pay capital gains tax if you were to exchange it from one crypto to another. So if I were to exchange Bitcoin to Ethereum, technically that is a taxable, um, you have to pay taxes on that. So obviously, if you do a lot of trading like I do, I can't keep up with all that information. Right. So what you can do, you go to a website called crypto.tax and it will break down many different companies that will do t help you with your crypto tax um, filing. And some of them are free if you have like, let's say 25 transactions or under, it's totally free. And what it does is you import your Coinbase, pro, um, it's like a log, a data log, and it will tell you everything and every transaction you did and break it down for you and, and, and basically show you your capital gains that you earn between transfer between two different coins, yep. selling, buying all your transactions and help you because it is a lot if you do a lot of trading. Now, if you just right. buy and then you and sell then you once, cash out once that's easy. you know things are up, then it'd be a lot easier to figure out your tax situation with it. Yeah, so crypto.tax, go on there, check it out. There's a bunch of uh, discounted and cheap um, different websites you can do that will actually help you file it. But that is very important when you do any kind of conversion, when you do any kind of selling or cashing out, keep in mind you could pay anywhere from 15% uh, capital gains if you hold it for more than a year, all the way up to 32% mm -hmm. if you cash it out in less than a year. So keep that in mind. Like when, I sold, when we sold the Tahoe, we had, or I'm sorry, when we bought the Tahoe, we had... I'm going to have to pay capital gains tax on that because I took out around twenty-five to $30,000 from my crypto. Mm -hmm. So that's important. You have to keep in mind and then hold some money to pay that back at the end of the, the year. Because the next year you don't want to file your taxes and be like, oh, there's thousands of dollars yeah. we now owe. You want to know that in advance. Be prepared for it. Exactly. Um, let's see. So um, obviously right now the price is going a little bit sideways right now and mm -hmm. we're down almost $10,000 in the last day. We could go even lower. Mm -hmm. um, nobody knows. It depends on if people are going to be massively selling still and driving that price down. What but you got to think when you see like the little bumps where it does start to kind of pick back up on the down days, on these dip days, it's people that are investing because it is down and that's what's making it come back up a little bit. So you exactly. watch that, you can see how much people are actually all wanting to invest and get in while it's low. Those smart ones, you know, they're putting more money in and hopefully by the time everyone can do it, it when it does get back up, it just shows you more people are investing and investing. Yep. 
Um, and, and, and there's a lot of it right now because we're, we're hitting the end of the month. Mm -hmm. um, that's when a lot of the future um, futures contracts are expiring. And um, there's going to be a lot of manipulations on the contracts because people are going to want to get a bunch of money ready to pump in for March. Um, this happens a lot during the end of the month. Um, so just keep an eye on the price. And like I said, dollar cost average in, dollar cost average out. Right. That's how you can make the best with your money. Um, don't throw all your money in at once that you want to invest. Be smart with it. Watch the prices. And um, just, just be careful with that. So um, one of the biggest manipulations right now that if you were to do some research, you could Google um, the, the F2 pool. And what F2 pool is, is it's a mining pool in China. They're one of the largest mining pools. And what a mining pool is, is the people that are mining using computing power to create new Bitcoins in the um, circulating supply. F2 pool is very, very commonly lately been manipulating the price by dumping massive amounts of Bitcoins, okay? Mm -hmm. Driving that price way down. Yep. If it weren't for them selling out all those Bitcoins, the price would be ridiculous Well, we have right talked now. about how we were surprised that it, it went to 50 as easy as it did too. Yeah, it, it definitely, um, when it was around 42,000, that's why I said that's a good support number. When it was around 42,000, it screamed up like ten thousand dollars so quick and yeah, it's scary. and that's dangerous when it goes right. really fast up you have to be ready for a pullback like this this is normal because people are cashing out at the top they yeah, want the most for their money so. this is normal to have a pullback like this if it's going way too quick too fast be ready to either take some profits off the top or I'm just telling you, you're going to see a pullback and you have a dip where you can get, get in at a good price. And that's why these kind of days I'm excited for because I didn't yep. know it was going to happen this quick and we're getting a drop in price. So, right. Um, so that's like that red light special discount. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Make sure you guys please uh, reach out if you have any name suggestions for us because we want to call ourselves something cool that everyone's going to be able to kind of relate to. Um, we want to make sure that you guys post questions daily or reach out. Uh, every time we get a question posted, we write it down somewhere so we can make sure to hit that because we know a lot of people come to us just for any education on it, whether they're in it or just interested. Yeah, again, we don't, I'm not a financial advisor. Do not buy just because we're we buying. We said so, right. Um, you know, this is educational. It's like the cool thing right now, but like we always back it up with like educate yourself. Too. Yeah, educate, research, you know, um, Google, YouTube. There's so much information out there. Oh, yeah. YouTube is um, a big one. But I'll tell you, I'll always endorse Cardano. That's my favorite one. And if you guys look it up, I'm telling you, the guy Hutchinson, he was a co-founder on Ethereum and Cardano. I believe will be a huge one in the future. That's why it's not on Coinbase yet. Once it gets on Coinbase, a lot more people are going to be buying it. It's going to gonna be way, worth more money too. Yeah, it'll be exposed to way more people, mm -hmm. and that's when you're going to see a big rush to it. Right. Um, it's still early in the stages. There's a lot coming up with Cardano, especially next month in March. So if you guys, um, like I said, research the different cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin's not the only one out there. There's a lot of other cryptocurrencies out there. Yeah, and if you guys go on uh, CoinCap to track it or your altfolio or just to see what's going on, you guys can literally scroll for minutes mm -hmm. and minutes or hours almost. There's so many different ones. You can see some that are worth a penny and play, small play, and just... Mm -hmm. figure it out that's some good but way to... um, like i said before crypto.com is a really good alternative to coinbase that you can use mm -hmm. there's a lot of coins on crypto.com such as cardano that you cannot get on coinbase dogecoin. so um, that's dogecoin one. you can get on crypto.com as well so mm -hmm. that you can't get on coinbase yeah there's a lot of coins on there that i recommend maybe you sign up on that one and take a look um, I use both frequently right now since we're doing the $1,000 um, investment. From the Tahoe. <laughs> <laughs> $1,000 pool with you guys. That That's only on my Coinbase. So I'm not even using Coinbase right now. I'm using Crypto.com only for my personal assets to purchase in. And then again, I move them over to my Harbor Wallet Ledger. So I think maybe the next video, maybe tomorrow, we can actually maybe do one about the Ledger and Harbor Wallets and yeah, why they're secure and why I use one, how to get one, it, how to, get it, it how to set it up, how to use it. And it, it's actually not uncommon for people to use more than one source. Wallet, so yeah. those, yeah, those that are on Coinbase and they're like, hey, you told me to use Coinbase, but I can't get Dogecoin or uh, Cardano. What do you think I should do? 
we're saying crypto.com is what we think is the second best, but there is Robinhood and there's people that use all yeah. of them. There's yeah. people, you know, I'm sure that know these little um, cryptos that are not on Robinhood or, you know, crypto.com or Coinbase that they only use that website for. So yeah, there's a it's bunch. not uncommon to like switch it up or to be watching all of them on a regular basis because that's where you've invested in. And that's why it just depends on how many times you want to give people your driver's license, social security and all that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But that's why I suggest CoinCap is you can create an alt, what they call an alt folio right. and then track it all. all your different sources. So let's say you have some crypto on crypto.com, some on Coinbase, Coinbase. some on Robinhood. So on Weeble, rather than checking all four apps, you can go into to CoinCap and just type in how much of each coin you have and then just, just check that one spot. But the Altfolio is really good for people who do different apps to watch it all in one spot. Yeah, it tracks your entire portfolio investment all in one place, which I like. And you're not sending and receiving coins on there. It's just for just strictly tracking it. So yep. I like that. Um, again, like, subscribe. It. Comment, comment questions any, below. any questions below and maybe tomorrow we're going to go into details of a hardware wallet and yep. why it's important and why i suggest using it especially if you have a really high amount of cryptocurrency right. and a high portfolio amount all right guys I think that's, that's it, it. <laughs> have a good night